Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how we can use table functions in NanoCAD and other verticals of NanoCAD products. So we will uh, use NanoCAD Mechanica uh, today to show you the NanoCAD uh, table feature. So today we'll discuss about the normal NanoCAD table and we will also find that how we can create table in NanoCAD and then we can send that data to Microsoft Excel and at the same time we will find that how we can edit table in NanoCAD Mechanica and we also would like to bring some data from Microsoft Excel in NanoCAD. We will also find that how we can create object based reports in NanoCAD Mechanica and also we will uh, find uh, how to create some table template in NanoCAD Mechanica. We will also find that how we can use that table template to save in the database and make a future reference so that you can take that reference and you can create data sheet as per your requirement and in the future videos we will also find how to use uh, nanocad mechanica uh, in some complex uh, part and assembly drawing to create some complex uh, data sheet so let's start uh, with a simple and the the basic features of nanocad table nanocad mechanical table rather so we should go to manage annotate and uh, there we should find the table so this is the table functions and as you can see you have many options you can create tables you can create custom tables you can create you can bring it from database you can load it from some other files you can also create some object based report import tables from excel and obviously if you have something already copied to the clipboard you can paste in the nanocad workspace and that will also create some tables Okay, so initially we will try to create some custom table. We can take uh, some arbitrary row and columns. So you can always specify the column and row size, number size and the number you can always assign and you can create some specific number of row columns with the size and you can also write some name of the table. But we'll see uh, later on how we can create those uh, specific type of tables. But now if we look into uh, the graphical presentations and we'll take some random size and we'll create some export and we will create some tables, right? So now if, as you can see, uh, this is just a cat table. Now if I click, so this is something else. This is not just a line. This is more than line. So you have different lines. So this is basically a single component. If we go to the properties, so let's go to the properties and you will see this is a nanocad table right now if we double click in this table you will get this table edit dialog box so basically this is microsoft excel you can add a more number of row columns so if i need i can make one uh, i can add one column so i can say i need to add one more so i can do that if i need more rows that also can be added so i click and i add one more and this and now i'm saying that i want to add some data something like serial number or maybe something some types or something and i'm saying these are all the types so i can drag it even i can right click and i can use expression it will work just like microsoft excel so we will see in the later videos where we can use this type of tables to to calculate so you can use some different types of mathematical expression to create some logic inside the table and then you can calculate so we'll discuss in the later videos in the topic of table but for now as you can see that i'm adding some data i'm just giving some value in it maybe i can drag it to everywhere so this is the data uh, i need to drag it to this so these are these are the data i I created in this table so I'll close it so all the data and did you notice this number of rows and columns were increased right so this is this is the table and if I need to organize the data somehow so I can I can do that I can say that all the data should be in the center so I'll right click after selecting all the rows and, and a specific uh, row or column I can say I would go to the properties and I can choose all the text will be in the center. I can many things I can do. I can make all borders and I can change the color. I can choose the font. I can set 
the fit for specific text in a specific type of rows and columns but for now i want to choose this middle center so i'll say okay so the moment i click so now you can see the data is more organized now so now i as you can see i created uh, this table this data sheet very simple one so now if i double click on it i will be able to transfer all the data to excel so there are many options but in this case i'll be using export to excel so now it says that some of the options you have i will uh, go with the default option so then i will click ok as you can see the progress bar one excel will be created and that x excel will open automatically after the export data export is done so now you can see the the data right so all the data is in the excel now for now i'll be closing the excel so this one i i will not save the data for now so i will close this as well now i have one open excel right so this is one excel file which i had created in microsoft excel purely and this is for something some you know component design so i need this data to be presented in the drawing right so all the data should be in the drawing so all i need i just need to open the excel which i want to bring into cad into nano cad mechanica so that you need to open i'll delete this one for now and i'll go to the table the moment i will open any excel on the system and this option will activate so earlier this was not activated now the moment i open excel it is activated so i will choose this and i will say i can i have different options but for now i will uh, follow the default so i will click so the same way when uh, we were exporting the data to excel now we are doing the reverse things that means that we are bringing data from excel to cat and now you can see all the things is is in the drawing to nanocad mechanica so now as you can see it's uh, 91 you can make it something 1000 or something else and then i say okay so it will be 1000 right i'll make it undo so everything is now editable in uh, in nanocad mechanica so it's very simple if you have data in excel that you can bring from excel to nanocad mechanica and you can use it anytime if you need if you lose the source excel you just double click on it and uh, the table edit dialog box will open and you can always go and you can export data from here to microsoft excel there are many other features though you can use to save this data to database of nanocad mechanica you can save as a file and you can go to some other extension as well so these are some uh, options available for you once you have data in tabular format in nanocad mechanica right so let's uh, move to some other drawings this one uh, now we will try to create some of the object based report as i already explained that we will see how we can create object based report in nanocad mechanica right so this is one assembly we have and there are different views and we have the part list boq here and we have some detailed drawing and we have some uh, very useful annotations and some uh, testing results I mean some of the deformations under different loads and support so we have different deformations so these things were created in nanocad mechanica but now we would like to create some of the user base or maybe some of the essential report we need to submit you know for the for the manufacturing purposes right so to do that we will go to the table again and this time we will say that we will not create table for the custom requirements or maybe we will not bring table from excel but we will create object based report right so now we can name it something like text we want to find all the text in the drawing and then we will click on select and then we will go to this now we will be selecting all the m text we use so now it says that we have only two m text but that's fine we're going to click on ok and now you have different properties of the text you can take everything but for now i will not take all the properties i will only take color and the direction maybe justify layer and some what is the text and the height and the style and that's all right so i'll choose like this and i will click ok 
so the report will be ready for me right so now you can find the text right so this is the text and all the properties of that specific text right so this is my object based report so if i click on this so now you will find this right you will find these details you can update and you can always create some excel you can export this data right these are some of the formulations will be created so you can ignore that when you export it will be the fresh data only nothing will be there except the data right so now let's create some of other reports uh, based on objects so maybe now we can create some of the parametric objects so all the parametric objects in nanocad mechanica in this drawings we we had used that should be tabulated right so the parametric parametric data we can say parametric data and it will be one huge report so i will say that i want to list out all the parametric objects and it shows that i can i can set different terms and conditions if i need to so i say for instance if we need to select some of the layer some of the specific layer so we can say i need all the objects which are in the specific layer so we can choose some objects maybe we can say that this is the layer now it says that zero layer and everything all the parametric components in the zero layer right so we will click ok and again we will have to choose the type of the headers of the table right so we, we can list out something we really need for instance maybe mass or module or name or maybe we don't need the mass we need only name and maybe shaft diameter and scale and that's all and it will be a huge list of data right and nanocad mechanica handles so now you can see all the parametric data in this drawing so there is no mention modules so module 3 is here this is you know gear functions i mean the mechanism of two gears and there is a spur gear and a pinion if you talk about the gear and pinion you will get parameter module parameter so i have only one data for that reason and here we have one more for the spar gear so basically as we can see we created the report the object based report of all the parametric objects here in this drawing we had used so this is very handy so this is how we can create the object based report right you can you literally you can create any type of re report you need for instance if you need to list out all the lines you use right so i'll say i need all the lines and their parameters right i'll use line and i will click select and i'll say all the lines and it says that i have 17 lines and i'll say okay i need all the i will select all the headers and it will be a long report so i have a report of all the lines we use with all the geometrical parameters here so literally we can create any sort of data sheet we need uh, out of any type of drawing in Ancan Mechanica right so we'll close this for now and now we will uh, show you something very interesting I mean this is something uh, very useful if we need to create BOQ as we know that probably you will find in some other videos where we had explained that how you can create some of the uh, smartest BOQ in Ancan Mechanica but what if we have not smart tools where we create some of the BOQ system where we create some of the BOQ data sheet where the things will be listed automatically. So on that case, I think NanoCAD basic tools can you are not using NanoCAD Mechanica. So this is one typical example of that. This is one template we can create in NanoCAD Mechanica for instance. And what it will do, it will list out all the blocks. Uh, with attributes values so any attributes values can be listed and any blocks can be listed using this table temp you don't need to list out manually even if you are using normal cat block that can also be listed right? so here as you can see i have created some of the block and i'm just uh, going to insert one so i will insert this one and the moment i insert and the table immediately detect one right so i, I will copy this one i will copy this one and I will try to paste some of uh, some more a similar type of block and I will hit enter and let's see what happens so the moment I say hit enter and now it's 
it's eight so it's very smart if i delete one right so it will be seven and if you select this this is just a block just a cat block dwg block that's all right so this is very handy i will uh, go to insert and i will some of other block with attributes so maybe this is one and i'm saying yes color of cast iron so it will be inserted and as you can see one more and i will say this is one more and i will insert and i will say it's only iron so or maybe i can say steel so i will uh, use it here okay so i will insert uh, a few more i will go to insert and i will insert one more so maybe this one and uh, i will insert this right so it looks very smart so you can use this table and you can you can list out data so i'll delete everything now i will be showing you how we can create this type of tables in in nanocad mechanica right or in nanocad or any vertical products of nanocad and now we should be able to create this type of tables maybe we can create the same tables here to show you how we can create i mean if we go to table and normally if we create this type of tables for instance if we their custom tables and then we'll count the number of columns one two three four five so i need one two three four five so i will choose this way and maybe i'm okay with it. so now this is a table this is a normal table and if i double click on it and it will open so now even if if i go to choose this everything and i will say that i want to group these things and i want to write b o q and it will be in the center so i will go to the properties and it will take me to the properties dialog box and i will click here and it will be in the center and that's fine and then i will say serial number and then i will say description and then i will say material i'll say quality and maybe remarks lost so that's fine so if i click okay i mean the headers will be there uh, one thing i need to do i need to make things in the center so i will go to the properties again and i will say these are the objects i'll right click and i'll choose properties and the properties uh, dialog box will open i'll choose middle center and I'm so as you can see i created similar table but it's not detecting the values from components right some uh, blocks and attributes etc right so why is this because you are not using as a template you are using as a normal table if we if we need to create this type of parametric tables right how do we can do that so to do that we, we need to double click in the table and then we can we can go to this section right so first thing we need to create some headers so we will use there will be different options so it's a huge uh, functions there added in the table but we will only focus what is important for us now so we will choose header right so as we know this is the header right so i will add one more so i will add one more row and this is the i will make it uh, copy i will say that i want to make a group and this is the title and these are the headers actually so these are the headers right so i will uh, insert all the values like this right and uh, i do not need this anymore so i don't need this so this is the header and the name the table is boq and this is the subheaders right so the value will be stored against this header and now we here in the section we will go again to the section and we will insert report so we will insert like this maybe we can delete uh, we can delete this we don't need this anymore so this is the report templates and now we need to uh, maybe we can add one more row here for better understand okay so we'll click in this and now we will say that we need to create report based on all the blocks so it depends i mean if you have different type of objects this quick selections will detect and will give you the options to select those options 
but for now we are saying that we need to work with the block right so i'll say okay so the moment i choose with block it create some of the report section so maybe i can go to this and i can delete some of the so now i, I can say that i i can go to this and now here you can find all the available variables these variables were coming from the attributes of block right or the normal properties of block for now if we need to know serial number so the first header is serial number so we need to find some of the uh, properties that will give us the serial number how many components are there so we can select row the moment we select row and you can find the value find all the values here right and similarly if we click this section and now we need to find description so, so block descriptions for that we can say that maybe we can say the object name so the objects name will be there in the block description and the data is coming because we already have information in the workspace and for the material we should right click and then we should find from the list it will be there maybe this is the material yes this is the material and then the quantity so for the quantity we can say count so we can find the count options so we can we can take it from the expression so we can say i need all the counts so i need to count the objects so the moment i choose counts it will count how many objects are inserted in the workspace and then in the remarks we can keep it vacant or we can you know put some information but for now we are going to keep it vacant so the moment i say i am done i'll close it and the table will start showing the informations right fine so now you can see that we can create objects here and we can insert one more maybe we can insert one more so we can insert uh, one range here and the table is now started detecting so we can delete uh, some of the components like this so we delete some of the component like this so the table will sync like this so we can remove all the data right so it will sync so i'll delete it so it will sync right so now the table if we insert one any one block here so both the tables are now working right so how do we can i mean this is one time this is one time if you create one templates table templates that can be used forever and everyone in your organizations can share the table right all you need you just double click on the table you just need to double click on it you just need to go to file and then you can say save to database right and you can see this is the database you can click this i will keep the database i mean the table here uh, and i will name it something boq and i'm done so i will uh, I'll exit and i will remove these tables for now right and now if i insert some of the blocks and i will copy a few so i'll copy the block and i will paste it here maybe a few more one more that's all and i will put uh, some other blocks too so i will uh, put this valve so that's it i'll cancel this i am done and now i will go to the library nano can mechanic i'll refresh it and then i will go to this folder and i will find this table so now boq table is here we can click this and we can insert whenever we need so it will calculate if we don't need and we can remove it so this is very handy so this is now integral part of the software you can this component this uh, template can be exported as a mcd file so you can export some mcd file and you can take it to other system and that specific user can import and they can use the same table right so this is very handy now we will see that how we can use the table functions i mean we will not discuss in this video but 
maybe in the later videos where we will discuss nanoCAD Mechanica BOQ. So there the table functions uh, will be very useful. So I just want to give you some of the brief about that uh, tables how we can use. So there will be different types of BOQ tables which is already listed. For instance, this uh, if we go to this, there will be a few more uh, tables will be listed here. If we go to the IS, maybe here we have all the tables. So that's fine. So we can we can use uh, this part list tables here. So there will be different type of tables that that we can use. And these tables are already created, right? These tables are already created. And this is also some formulated table. So if you have different type of holes and you choose these options, the holes will get listed automatically in Arcade Mechanic. So these are some of the tables already created and those tables will be used, you know, to create some of the data sheet. So this is NanoCAD Mechanica. So when we will discuss NanoCAD Mechanica, we will we will use these tables, right? So uh, this is this is the part list section. So we will uh, use this the tables here in the part list, and we will try to find some of the complex data sheet which we will make easily in NanoCAD Mechanica or any NanoCAD vertical products. That's all for today. See you in the next video.